Hi, my name is Cheryl Wallowick, owner of MyHR Pro, and in this human resources video I'm going to show you the high cost of employee turnover and what you can do to increase employee retention and employee engagement. Now there's no doubt about it, staff turnover is costly. Estimates vary on what it costs to lose an employee, with some placing the figure as high as 2.5 times annual salary. A recent research report by Dr. Beverly Kay and Sharon Jordan Evans have found that the cost of replacing lost talent is 70 to 200 percent of that employee's annual salary. Regardless of which calculation you use, it, it costs a lot. Now this calculation does not begin to include the intangible costs of employee turnover such as increased accident rates, productivity losses, training costs, customer impact, and the lemming effect of having other workers leave because others have left before them. These costs are even higher than the tangible costs previously mentioned. Now, for example, of a cost calculation worksheet for you to use to do your own calculation, visit our website at myhrpro.ca. Now, one approach to reduce employee turnover is to increase employee engagement. Engagement means that it's the state in which individuals are emotionally and intellectually committed to the organization. It includes the extent to which employees put discretionary effort into their work in the form of brain power, extra time, and energy. Engaged employees are critical to organizations achieving their success and the achievement of goals they've set. Staff with high levels of engagement are more likely to be loyal, to stay with the organization, to act as ambassadors for the organization, and to be productive and contribute. Unfortunately, recent research indicates that many employees are no longer actively engaged. Here's a summary of some of that recent research. Gallup poll found that engaged workers, those loyal and productive, are only 24%. Not engaged workers were as high as 60%, those just putting in time. Actively disengaged employees were 16%. Towers and Perrin found that one-third of workers are intensely negative. And the Conference Board of Canada found that talent is mobile and fully 58% of Canadian employees are now open to moving to other organizations. The Globe and Mail found that employees have never worked harder or faster, but 28% are looking for new work and 25% of the unhappy plan to remain with their current employer, even though they're dissatisfied. The impact of disengagement in the workplace is far-reaching and serious. From a financial perspective, the cost of disengagement to the Canadian economy is estimated to be $27.7 billion. Although staff turnover is costly for an organization, retaining disengaged employees is also costly and the negative impacts on organizational culture also inhibits the success of the organization. Management would be wise to watch for signs of disengagement and be proactive in stemming this. Disengaged employees can cause a lot of problems. Now, the only thing worse than a high rate of staff turnover is having an organization that sheds high performers and retains disengaged employees. Organizational culture and values matter a lot when it comes to employee retention, especially of high performers. I'd encourage you to examine your organization's culture to ensure that there's an acceptance of individual differences of approach, ideas, and opinions. Consider taking the following steps to improve employee engagement and retention. Cultivate a high degree of cooperation within work groups. Reinforce actions that build trust and commitment among employees. Handle conflict in a proactive way and consider taking an appreciative inquiry approach that reinforces the positive. Create a work environment where collaboration and support from colleagues is prevalent. Ensure new ideas are valued and supported. And create projects where people pull together to achieve common goals. Manage conflict in a positive and timely manner. Don't ignore it. It can fester. And have checkpoints to ensure organization values are consistent with employee values and make sure that they're clearly evident by people's behavior. So where should you start to improve employee engagement and increase employee retention? Begin by establishing an action plan for assessing the level of employee engagement in your organization. Next, pinpoint areas of importance that have low ratings and prioritize areas to work towards improvement. Determine specific actions that will positively impact these areas and measure progress and adjust based on employee feedback. 
For more information on how to increase employee engagement and reduce employee turnover, go to our website at myhrpro.ca and tune in to my next Human Resources video and I'll share some specific tips on what managers and supervisors can do to help create a highly productive workforce and increase employee retention. Our website has useful HR forms and templates and HR articles that you can download for free. Thanks for your time today.